everyone. Welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Mike. I'm Rainbow. And today it's our grammar station unit. Now tomorrow we're going to be doing something fun. We're going to be dancing together. We're going to meet a couple people taking a dance class. So that sounds interesting. But today, gosh, today we're doing part A, which is looking for something, and、oh. I feel. Like the writers, somehow they knew how my morning started here because I spent 20 minutes this morning, just a, sh- a short time ago, looking around my apartment for something. For what? Guess.、Mm. What are the things that you have to have when you leave your home in the morning these days? Phone. Right. Mask. Mask. My mask. My mask. I had only one. I was gonna buy some more today. But I thought, oh, I got that one. Remember, I put it in that place, that place that I never forget about. I forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, so I couldn't even get to the store to buy the masks because I needed a mask. a mask to get into the store. So I find, and I've actually, act, I've gotten okay with it, right?、Yeah. Phone, wallet, keys, money. Keys, mask. mask. That's it. I've gotten pretty good at it, but this time it wasn't forgetting to take it. It was forgetting where I left it at home, and I forgot to wear one this morning and got into the elevator,、oh、went、no. downstairs,、oh no. and then realized my face was empty. So I also <laughs> for, forgot my mask, and then I went back to get it this morning too. Oh, okay. What、well, did you remember before you saw someone? Did you remember?、Mm, no, I just felt like my face. Oh, was but very but someone empty. didn't, didn't tell you. Okay, good.、Yeah. That's so. And they're like, <clears throat> yeah. And you're like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> at least you remembered before you did, saw someone else. All right. Well, losing things, finding things, and looking for things—it's a part of our lives, and、yep. maybe more of a part of it as you get older and you start forgetting stuff. I don't know, but it happens to everyone, sometimes at least. All the time for others. Let's check out Part A. Looking for something. Where did I put them? Mask. Oh. Philip and Carrie are looking for his keys. I can't find my keys. Did you see them anywhere? No.、Um, where did you last see them? I usually put them in the key bowl on the shoe cabinet, but they're not there. All right. So in today's article, our main characters are Philip and Carrie, and they're together and they're looking for something very important, which you cannot leave the house without.、So、the first sentence says, "Oh yeah, face mask too."、Huh? First sentence、huh? says, "Philip and Carrie are looking for his keys." Keys. Ah,、oh, you definitely need those. Yes, keys. So keys are what you use to open doors, or it could be opening a drawer. I need to have a key every day, otherwise I can't get home. Okay, so what does Philip say? Well, Philip says I can't find my keys. So that's of course what he's looking for. If you can't find something and you want to tell someone when it is, you say I can't find. My thing in this case, yes, keys. What he needs to unlock locks, to open his car, to start his motorcycle, whatever. Keys are very useful, and if you can't find them, especially if you want to leave your home and you lock the door,、leave. right? If you want to come back, it will be hard. So he needs to find his keys, and luckily Carrie is there to help. So he asks her. Did you see them anywhere? He's hoping that as she was going around the house, she was like, "Oh, there's Philip's keys over there," and then she'll be able to say, "Yeah, I saw your keys by the front door or on the kitchen table or something like that." So, if you can't find it, did you did you see them、uh, anywhere? Maybe, hopefully. So Carrie's、um, like looking around, and、possibly. Carrie says, "No."、Oh. I mean, where did you last see them? Good question. Good question. Ask a person that. Ask yourself that. I can't find my dot dot dot. Where did you last see it? Or where did you last use it?、Oh. If you kind of you know go back in time、yeah. in your memory, sometimes this will help. So we can imagine Philip kind of imagining, thinking about, yeah, when did I last use them? He says, I usually put them in the key bowl on the shoe cabinet. 
But they're not there. Huh? Weird.、Oh, that's frustrating. Because he puts them in the the same place. Yeah. That's a good way to keep track of your items. Normally it is.、Yeah. I do this too. Everything、mm-hmm. in my house is in the same place. Okay. So I always know where something is,、mm-hmm. and then I don't lose it. But apparently he couldn't find them,、mm-hmm. and usually he puts them somewhere. But today it wasn't there. Exactly. So when you usually do something, that means mostly or regularly. If I say usually I eat rice for lunch,、mm-hmm. so I might be going to the same lunch place, and then maybe three days out of five I would eat rice for lunch. But usually it's there, and now he can't find them in、hmm. this bowl. That's right. So yeah, usually would be over fifty percent, maybe seventy, eighty, ninety percent of、Definitely. the time, and that's a good way of doing it, as you say. Always put things in the same place, but maybe this time. Instead of putting the keys down in that bowl, his phone was ringing, and he's like, "Oh, I gotta answer yeah, this phone." Something happened, so they're not in that bowl. But a bowl is a good place to hold things: keys, soup. Lots of things can go in a bowl. Yes, usually、generally, for eating. Generally, it is food, right? We don't often put our keys in bowls, but hey, why not? Because a bowl is a is a dish that's quite deep, and that's why it's good for soup or ice cream or something liquid like that. So it's not quite a plate. It will be a little bit deeper, have higher sides. You can put stuff in. It won't fall out. We often eat rice out of bowls. We eat soup out of bowls. You can't eat soup off of a plate. That would just be weird. And you can put things in bowls too, right? People often mix things in bowls, cook with bowls, or you can even put small things like keys in a bowl. They won't fall out and fall on the floor as easily. And in his house, they have a small bowl there,、um, and they put their keys and other useful things in it right on the shoe cabinet. By the front door. Right. So then we have the word cabinet. Now,、mm. a cabinet is a kind of shelf.、Mm-hmm. It could be on the floor for shoes. So you would open it up, and then you would put your shoes inside.、Mm. Or it could be higher in、mm-hmm. the kitchen for putting some kind of dishes、bowls. or cups, bowls. <laughs> that's right. So shoe cabinet or kitchen cabinet. These are usually for placing items that we use all the time. Yeah. And as you say, this piece of furniture does often have doors. Yeah. Maybe glass, maybe wood. Yeah. You can open up. It's just placed a place to put things and put them away and keep them nice and organized, so you don't lose them.、Mm-hmm. Hopefully,、mm-hmm. that's one of the ideas of a good cabinet. Anyway, let's take a break, and hopefully, when we come back, Carrie and Philip will be able to track down those keys because he needs them. Yeah. Otherwise, he can't leave. He can't go anywhere. Maybe the keys fell out. Did you check under the cabinet and around the door? Yes, but I didn't see them. Hey, were your hands full when you came home today? Yes, they were. I had lots of stuff from the supermarket. Then I have a feeling your keys are still in the door. So those keys, Philip can't find them. His roommate, his friend Carrie, she doesn't know where they are. They're not in the bowl that he usually puts them in. So where have they gotten to? She has a few ideas. Okay. Maybe the keys fell out. Did you check under the cabinet and、mm. around the door? Yeah, maybe they were just moving things around.、Mm. So it makes sense that we would look for them close to where they normally are. True. Sometimes people might come in and maybe throw the keys into that little bowl,、yeah. and maybe they bounced out,、mm-hmm. fell on the floor, got kicked under the cabinet. That's a good idea. Look around the place because yeah. Maybe they just fell on the floor or something. But Philip, it seems he already thought of that. He's already checked. He says yes, yes. He did look in those places, but he says I didn't see them. So we can imagine he did get down. He did look under the cabinet. He has looked in the corner and whatnot around the bowl. So now Carrie does, starts to do a a good little thing. She starts to think about when was the last time I saw Philip. Using his keys, or when was the last time he needed to use his keys? In other words, when he came home last time. And she remembers. Hey, weren't your hands full when you came home today? When your hands are 
full, that means you're holding so many things,、mm-hmm. maybe groceries, or maybe you're just carrying your backpack, and、mm-hmm. there's a lot of things going on. So when something is full, like your hands, that means there's no room for anything else. If your room is full, the room is full. That means there's so many people, nobody else can come in. If a cup is full, that means there's so much water you can't put any more in it. So the opposite of full is empty. Well, Philip, he's thinking back too now. He's also remembering. He says, "Yes, yes, they were right." Carry is correct. His hands were full last time. Why? He remembers. I had lots of stuff from the supermarket.、Ah. Yeah, and when you have those. Heavy shopping bags. How can you get? You can't even get the keys out of your pocket, and it's hard to get them in the lock and stuff because you have so much stuff in your hands. And when we talk about stuff, we're talking about things. Dongshi, yeah, random you know, things, stuff. Dongshi, exactly. exactly. When Dongshi. we don't really want to name all of the different things because it is probably a lot of different things.、Yeah. What do you pack in your bag when you go on holiday?、Oh, just lots of stuff. Stuff, right? You put in stuff for your washing and clothes and a book or you know something to entertain yourself. You don't want to list out all those things,、right. so you just say stuff. It's a Collective noun. Remember, you don't put an s. Yes, stuff、never. is by itself、mm-hmm. a plural.、Yes. So you have lots of stuff, but you would only have one piece of stuff. Everything else is stuff. And where's a good place that you go to find a lot of the stuff that you use every week? Go to the supermarket. Supermarket. So if you're carrying all of the stuff from the supermarket, the、mm-hmm. kind of stuff would be vegetables. Maybe you get some salt, some chicken, some onions. And a supermarket is those places where you go.、Mm-hmm. So in Taiwan, we might go to、um, PX Mart.、Mm-hmm. There's like RT Mart. There's Costco. That's probably one of the really fun ones. But Costco isn't really a supermarket.、Mm, that would be a hyper mart. The <laughs> hyper mart.、Right. Big big mart.、Yeah. Super. Markets just for like groceries and daily things like tissue paper, all the stuff that you need for everyday life. Okay, so, whew, finally、mm-hmm. we have another clue. Ah,、oh, where's your stuff? Where's your yeah, stuff? Yeah, well, remember he had all his hands were full of stuff. From the supermarket, and Carrie remembers this exactly the same. And then suddenly, she has a breakthrough. She has a brilliant idea. Then I have a feeling. When、uh-huh. I have a feeling about something, it's I don't know, but I think it might be because I have a feeling in my heart.、Mm-hmm. What's the feeling? Your keys are still in the door. Ah. That would make sense, right? They haven't actually looked, but she's thinking you had all that stuff. You probably put them in the door. You didn't take it out. Open the door, came right, in, right, 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 put right. the stuff down, started to put all your su- your supermarket groceries away. Makes sense. You left them in the door. They're、Carrie's、still、so、smart. in the door. That is a really logical way of looking at it, and I bet she's right. They only have to go now. Open the door, and I bet the keys will be right there. So, mystery solved. Keys found. Philip can relax, and so can you guys, because we've reached the end of our first dialogue for our grammar station unit this month. But come back tomorrow because we will be done. Sing the night away <laughs> in part B. So please do come back for that. We'll see you then. Bye. Philip and Carrie are looking for his keys. I can't find my keys. Did you see them anywhere? No.、Um, where did you last see them? I usually put them in the key bowl on the shoe cabinet, but they're not there. Maybe the keys fell out. Did you check under the cabinet and around the door? Yes, but I didn't see them. Hey, were your hands full when you came home today? Yes, they were. I had lots of stuff from the supermarket. Then I have a feeling your keys are still in the door. Hi, 大家好，我是 Stephanie。今天呢，我们从单字看起。第一个呢是 key， 名词，钥匙。I kept a spare key under the mat. 我在垫子下面放了一把备用钥匙。第二个呢是 usually， 它是副词，通常、经常。Jamie doesn't usually work this late. Jamie 通常不会工作到这么晚。第三个单词呢是 ball， 
，名词，碗状的容器。Would you like a bowl of rice? 你想要一碗饭吗？最后一个单字呢是形容词 ，full， 装满的或者是充满的。Reese loves reading. Her shelves are full of books. Reese 很喜欢阅读，她的书架上摆满了书。那我们再看一个 full 作为充满的例句。May you have a life full of love and joy. 希望你的生活充满爱与欢乐。这个句子呢，很适合写在生日卡片的结尾作为祝福哦。那接下来我们一起来看今天的文法重点。第一个呢是 fall out， 掉落、掉出。Fall 的三态呢是 fall, fell, fallen. Be careful, your phone is going to fall out. 小心，你的手机要掉出来了。这个片语呢，你也可以用在指头发、啊、或者是牙齿要掉落的时候，像是 Amber's daughter's baby teeth are starting to fall out. Amber 女儿的乳牙开始掉了。那第二个我们要看的句子呢是 Weren't your hands full? 你手里不是拿满东西吗？这个句子是否定疑问句。其实你不管是面对一般的问句，或者是否定问句，你只要秉持一个黄金原则，那就是肯定就说 yes， 否定就说 no。假设今天你要玩到很晚，这时候接到妈妈的怒吼电话说 ，Aren't you coming home？ 你还不回家吗？早点回来。那我就是想要吃完早点才回家，我现在不想回家。这时候我们就可以回 No，not yet， 没有，还没有要回家。这就是文法正确的回应哦。至于你回家会不会被打，我就不负责任喽。好，那最后一个 ，Somebody has a feeling， 某人有种感觉、预感。Feeling 呢，就是感受、感觉的意思。前面可以加上一个形容词，表达是怎么样的感受。例如 ，Natalie has a good feeling about her college exams。Natalie 对她的大学考试有好的预感。表示他觉得自己应该会考得不错。好，那这就是今天的讲解，我们下次再见。The tropical rainforest is very important to the planet. Did you know that over half of all animals and plants can be found in rainforests? That's amazing. In Taipei Zoo, there is an area called the Asia Tropical Rainforest Area. What kind of animals can we see there? Well, let's go check it out and see. Rainforests cover only about six percent of the Earth's surface. However, They are home to more than half of the world's species of plants and animals. Taipei Zoo's Asian Tropical Rainforest Area simulates the natural environment. It is covered with huge rainforest trees. Ferns, orchids, and mosses grow on the trunks and rock faces. Do you hear that? It's the siamangs singing in the trees. Do you see the black and white animal under the trees? You may know it from the popular illustrations of it. Yes, it's the Malayan tapir. The two Asian elephants are also very popular. Look how she uses her trunk. And you can't miss the Bengal tiger, leopard, Bornean orangutan, and great hornbill. What other animals can you see here? That's for you to find out. See you next time.